So the other day, I asked on Twitter, what video you guys want me to make next? And a lot of you guys said something about AI. But unfortunately, I'm not an expert in AI, so I talked to someone who is. So I talked to Louis, who was until recently the head of AI at a startup in Montreal, and who is also an AI educator at his YouTube channel, What's AI? In this particular video, he walked me through his roadmap for learning AI in 2022, AI and machine learning, and we've covered a lot of grounds. So without further ado, let's get started. I think the best way to, to learn online is to start with the terminology. So basically understand which words means what. And this is also why I created a series of videos exp covering all the, the big words of the of the field, like just artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, uh, data science, everything, neural networks and everything in the field. This way, when you get into courses or books, you won't get lost at the first word you see. I feel like uh, YouTube is a great place for that. Another uh, great channel other than, than mine is uh, three, blue, 3 Blue 1 Brown, which has a great series on on the foundations of machine learning and, and build your mathematical background and, and everything around uh, the, the introduction uh, for machine learning. It's, it's fun to say, but uh, Instagram is actually really helpful with many people that are sharing infographics that are extremely useful. It's uh, like, I, I didn't think I, I will say that <laughs> before, but it, Instagram is actually a great place to, to learn some, some stuff about artificial intelligence, not everything, but neuralnet.ai. Mm. So yeah, this, this one, for example, here he covers trading with machine learning and he, he introduces what it is. He explains what uh, about, he talks about the data, the, what, what is it, et cetera. And then you can, I don't know for this post exactly, but often, you can find, uh, like he, he refers to a link in bio where you can implement what what he's talking about. So it, it's pretty cool. Yeah, In this section, Start Learning Seriously, I, I talk about the different approaches, but there are many different ways. For example, you can start with this, which is an introduction to machine learning uh, published on YouTube for free by Stanford. And it's... Uh, an amazing course to to start getting into machine learning and start coding. You also have the the homework that are shared online and uh, and you can find the the answers and yeah it's it's really great. There's also the these are all on YouTube I believe. So these are all fantastic free resources by uh, professionals like Lex Friedman that you most certainly know, Andrew Ng and Jan LeCun, they are all big names of artificial intelligence and their courses are free and available on YouTube. So th these are definitely amazing resources to, to start and even get quite advanced in uh, machine learning. And this is if you like watching videos. I understand that a lot of people prefer reading, which is why we also have a section for articles and books. And this is all uh, machine learning in general. So here I recommend some articles to, to get into machine learning as well. So I won't, uh, I won't cover all of them, but it's basically all, all you need to know to get into machine learning and start learning and start coding and playing with it. And same thing for the books. It's, it's just to get a really good uh, background and foundation of machine learning, especially deep learning book. I really love that one and it's free. So yeah, I, I also I wanted to, to say that uh, all, all of the resources linked here are free, except when when we say that it's paying, but it's not it's not necessary. It's not mandatory. You can you can build just a, um, as good of a of a background for for free online. So. It's definitely, uh, some are worth paying for sure, but it's not necessary. So a, a, math, a math background is really important, uh, which is why we also have a math section in the guide and where I cover uh, free resources on linear algebra, uh, statistics, probability, and calculus, which are 
extremely important. These are these are all great courses online, but I also refer to books and YouTube channels, which you can definitely learn from. It's not like you don't have to follow courses or you don't you don't have to to watch videos. You can learn from everywhere, which is why we we share always these three distinct um, path like the the videos the written books or articles and the courses and in my opinion the three are great but if you go for the books or youtube videos be sure to have access to some exercises and time to and, and ways to practice and implement what you are learning because these are usually built in with the courses but not necessarily with the YouTube videos and books. So you need to take care of this and and be sure to practice. Like yeah, so no coding background, no problem. It's it's basically for people that that really are complete beginners in coding and I give resources to to learn Python because it's the most used and most practical way to get into machine learning. Most used language language and most practical way to get into machine learning. There are many libraries to facilitate your life and and implement Like right now, you can implement a machine learning model for classification and for even for language tasks in in two lines. It's incredibly easy, and there are tons of tutorials online. So yeah, the best ones are linked in here. And then yeah, I, I, as I said, I share online courses. There are here are just more online courses like the the best ones I found over the years. And then, yeah, as I said, practice, practice, practice. We we give we give useful resources to practice. For example, if you decide to read books and watch videos that that don't allow you to to practice, you can all you can find other ways to practice. So, the the first one is uh, Kaggle, which is really known in the machine learning field, and it's a platform where you can. There are basically competitions where you can just enter for free. For example, uh, yeah, here house prices, where, or you predict, you try to predict the the price of houses using machine learning or any other algorithm, and they give you the data and etc. You can create team. Uh, you can you can create a team with usually up to four people, and then you just uh, try to to fix the problem and you publish your your results and there is a leaderboard and there's even money for the winners and so you can you can gain you can get money from practicing yeah so as you as you see the like the winners get hundred thousand dollars or yeah these, these are the biggest ones but you can you can win some things from learning which is quite incredible and we couldn't do that before internet so and Yeah, the next section is um, is a section where I share more resources. Uh, we already spoke about the Discord server, so I won't enter into it. But I I share here. I discuss how, how important are communities and why you should be joining them. Um, the these are really different communities. The Discord servers are more like real time exchanges and you can find Kaggle teammates as I write here or ask questions or you can find people to learn with you can find people to discuss with whereas Reddit is more to sh is more a, a place where people share their work and projects and these are not real-time discussions so both are interesting but really different and I feel like you should definitely follow these subreddits and also join a community whether it's a our Discord server, Learn AI Together, or any other community that that is in the field right now. There are there are some other communities like the Weights and Biases one where people often exchange. And I also know of a community on Slack that is called Integrate. Uh, I'm in this community. It's called Integrated ML AI. And, and it's really great. You can Like the, there are people to help and answer your questions as well. So there are there are quite a lot of communities if you if you look for them. And I definitely recommend uh, learning 
when you are learning, I definitely recommend joining these communities just because it's it's way more fun to learn with someone or at least to to know who to ask a question and to know that you can have an answer. Like I know that at university, uh, especially in programming, when I, when I asked my professors, they always said like Google it. And yeah, it's it's Google is powerful, but often it's much more much more fun to just discuss with someone, exchange, and help each other to find and fix your problems. And I also share cheat sheets that are quite useful, especially in the beginning, because they they are also related to the terms I I started with, like terminology, uh, because these cheat sheets will just explain each terms and kind of neural networks. So, okay, this is a repo where there are many such cheat sheets. And for example, here it's a cheat sheet about unsupervised learning, which is a which a, which is a training um, style for machine learning. And it it covers many terms and algorithms and important facets of this of this uh, of unsupervised learning so it's definitely useful especially if you have to take interviews or everything you you just review all the cheat sheets before the interview and you have a great a great backup plan for for questions okay that's it for this video and i hope you enjoyed it or found it useful at least and if you have any ideas for any future topic i should cover a person i should interview or an article i should summarize on this channel please let me know on this form right here. Thank you so much as always for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.